Hi, hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> uh, today I want to talk about a system that we've been speaking about for the last couple of days, intermittent fasting. And I'm going to go on speaking about this way of fasting and this way of life because of the numerous effects that it has. We have to start doing away with fad diets because we keep jumping from one diet to another. We get short term results and then we're back to square one, always searching for the perfect diet to heal us. Now, when it comes to joint pain, when it comes to arthritis, when it comes to the cramps that you wake up with every single morning, there could be several reasons. Some of it is called arthritis, which we know is an autoimmune disorder where your immune system is attacking your joints. We've done a video on that and we will post it in this thread that's something completely different. Then we have these cramps that we wake up with. You see, there are a lot of elderly people out there who believe today that they have to live with their pain. And in most cases, you don't have to because we've closed our minds to the belief that there is something beyond just medicine. Now, when I use the term beyond medicine, I do not mean that you should jump off your medication, get off your medication and stop visiting your doctor. I am not for that. I am saying beyond your tablets and beyond your belief system that only a medical, that only a medicine can suppress your pain. There's a lot more that we can do. You see, when the human mind opens up, we look for possibilities. But it's when it's close to one belief that I have to be on a medication for a lifetime, there's nothing we can do about the pain, we need to only take painkillers and that's about it. That's where I want everyone to expand their minds and open it up to the belief that, hey, there is, some, there is something out there which is beyond medicine. Now, intermittent fasting has been part of our culture. It's been part of everyone. It's been part of evolution. You see, people ate before sunset. And then their next meal was was the next day. So they automatically built a fasting period of 10 to 12 hours. All I'm trying to say is intermittent fasting doesn't have to be another fat diet. We don't have to be scared of the word fasting because most of us were already doing this and many of us are still doing it. We've just gotten really confused with this overload of information and this fact that we have to eat more food all the time. We're snacking constantly, we're grazing on food constantly. We keep, we keep changing our dinner times, our lunch times because we need to socialize. And we don't, want, we don't want to give that significance that that may just be the cause to why we have so many problems. Everyone thinks arthritis is, is incurable. But no one looks at the root cause may be acidity and because you have an acidic body, you have an autoimmune disorder, you have an inflamed gut and because you have an inflamed gut, you allow certain antibodies to enter your blood and your immune system just attacks your own body. That's a cycle that has been created in your system mainly because of the lifestyle that you choose to live. Now pain from arthritis and joints and all of these things, this is something that you can reduce right away through intermittent fasting. I'm not saying it's the magic drug. I'm saying it's a way of life. We are eating too much of food. We constantly believe that we should be snacking all the time. We finish our dinner, we put on Netflix, you wanna watch a movie, we're snacking again and again. Never giving your digestive system a break to complete its entire cycle of digestion. And because it's constantly working, there's constantly acid being produced in your system. And that's why we have most of these problems. Now, when you give yourself a break, this is something which is inexpensive and free. All you need to do is put a little, a little bit of effort and a little bit of discipline. So bring down your dinner time a little more. This doesn't mean you have to stop socializing. It just means you need to be yourself when you socialize and say, hey, I already had my dinner, I don't need to eat. I can be over here and socialize and have fun, but I do not have to eat. My socializing doesn't revolve around eating and drinking all the time. Once in a way, that's perfectly fine. But if you have a calendar that involves socializing all the time, you gotta start putting some discipline because you see you can't have it all and then expect your pains to disappear. There's something called compromise and this compromise is very simple. So start bringing down your dinner times from 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock to maybe eight o'clock or seven o'clock or even 6.30. And then what you do is you start your fasting from then and you break your fast maybe 12 hours, 14 hours or 16 hours later. I can promise you the first day will be a little bit difficult because you know you are gonna feel those hunger pangs. The second day is gonna be easy and the third day your energy levels are gonna be fantastic and you are going to see and feel a decrease in your pain. We have thousands of people across the world who did 
fasting, intermittent fasting, dry fasting. They did it in intervals of 12 hours, 14 hours and 16 hours. And you should see the amount of effect it had on most of their joint pains and most of their arthritic pains. Because you see the human body is designed to heal. I'm not saying stop your medication. I'm saying try doing something which we were always doing before. But our lifestyles changed. We started eating more food. We started eating later in the day, all because we wanted to satisfy our lifestyle that we chose. Now, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself, but eat your food, go out and party. Eat your food, go out and socialize. And you have to learn how to make that fasting work for you. Now, a lot of people have different hours to fast. It's completely up to you. If your dinner must be at 8 o'clock, let it be at 8 o'clock. You break your fast 12 to 14 to 16 hours later. It's just a matter of a minor adjustment and getting, to, getting through three days of fasting for you to realize how easy this is for your system. One of the biggest problems that all of us face today is that we are consuming too much of food. Too much. And because we constantly consume processed foods and junk foods, which has all this amount of hidden sugar and all these carbohydrates, it keeps making us more and more hungry. You see food today, processed food is designed to make you more hungry so that you consume more of it. So it's more appealing. So they add food colors and salt and extra sugar and all of that stuff. The food lobbies are out to get us addicted to the food that, they, uh, that we eat. But when you eat things which are natural, you find that your satiety levels drag on for a longer period of time. Because you see nature gives you a balance of food that has the right amount of protein, fiber, simple carbohydrates and all of these things. We never end up feeling as hungry as we do when we eat processed food or food which is cooked the wrong way. So we are eating too much of food and we are utilizing a lot of that energy which could be used to heal us, to reduce inflammation which causes pain in your body. All that energy is being used to constantly digest the food that we eat. So one simple lifestyle change that every, everyone can make and you know, I encourage all the elderly as well because there are so many people out there who, who have accepted that they cannot walk anymore because of their pains and that they have issues in their knees and joints. This can get better. All it needs for you to change your mindset and say, hey, let me get into fasting. All of us have done it at some point. We do it for religious festivals. Make it a way of life, whether you do it once a week, twice a week, but I know people who have made it a way of life and they do it every single day. Again, you choose and see what suits your body and what suits your lifestyle, but start eating less. I'm not saying deprive yourself and feel hungry. I'm saying start eating less or increase your fasting hour. Eat during your building phase, eat really well. That's why it's called a building phase. But in your fasting phase, respect the body. Let it eliminate, let it rejuvenate, let it recreate, let it grow, let it repair, let it balance all your, let it balance all your hormones, let it boost your immunity. You'll even sleep better at night. Right now, the only thing coming in between you and your fasting is your own mind. Your self-belief, your self-limiting beliefs, your own fear, your own insecurity about will I get acidic, all of that stuff. Well, you'll never know unless you try and you lose nothing by, by, by trying. Now, if you're on heavy medication and you're going through any complicated medical condition, it's always best to take advice of your medical professional before you do this. But for everyone else who's suffering from all of these points, try to intermittent fast because it works on a simple science of reducing inflammation. The more you help your body to reduce inflammation, the lower your pains get. And guess what? It works better than a painkiller. All your painkillers is only suppressing your symptom. And then when the symptom arises again, you've got to take more and more painkillers. Over here, you're treating the symptom at the root cause. You are addressing the root cause of your system. So basically, you break your intermittent fast by drinking water, having a little bit of fruit or dates, and then 15 to 30 minutes later, you can resume your normal eating plan. During the intermittent fast, you can drink as much of water as you want. Try to keep it warm or room temperature so it works as a detoxifying agent in your system as well. No tea, no coffee, no lemon water, pure, plain water during your intermittent fasting phase. Try this. Like I said, you lose nothing but trying. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. You have to understand that intermittent fasting will also help you to, to, to age gracefully. You see, no amount of pills and injections and cosmetics is going to reverse your aging for you. It's an internal process. It's an inside out approach. Basically, when you allow energy to flow to all of your cells in your body and divert it from the constant digestive system that we create inside of us, you'll see that a lot changes in your body, including your energy levels, your skin and your hair. Have a great day, everyone.